in this morning's consumer alert, sweepstakes, lottery and prize schemes are devastating the older populations, according to a new report by the BBB. The report found half a million Americans and Canadians lost around $117 million. So today we are helping you avoid becoming a victim. Angie Barnett of the BBB is joining us. Good to have you on the show. Good morning, Thea. So let's discuss some of the findings. What did you find? Mm -hmm. One of the things that may not be a surprise to everyone, uh, the lottery sweepstakes scam uh, hits seniors more often than any other. Um, in part, it might be related to the fact that they uh, re still receive mail, open up the uh, lottery sweepstakes notices with checks in them, so they fall into it. But also there's some psychological element to this. Um, one of the things we found are the people, there is a, a characteristic, uh, people who fall for this have suffered a loss mm. in their lives, they're a little bit more vulnerable, or they also are beginning to see a decline in their income, um, their ability, their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So these uh, sweepstake lottery scam notices give you that sense of hope, That's or right. you really want to believe it's true. Yeah, so they're preying on that hope and that yes. excitement that they maybe yes. have won. And, mm. they, and the scam artists are brilliant because if they're on the phone with you, one of the things they'll do is they really push that your life will change as a result of this. What would you do if you won the million dollars, which is a game everybody plays oh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it is exciting to think about. So it is, yeah, you it can is. understand that. Mm -hmm. So, and one of the things in the report is that you all recommend that uh, law enforcement tackles this. Absolutely, the, this is global issue. Uh, so many of these scams originate Jamaica, Costa Rica. We've even seen some uh, of the origination from Israel. This is an uh, you know international global issue and you need the uh, law enforcement, cybersecurity, everybody working together but on a large scale. So we're hoping to see an increase in that service for all of us. If our loved one, and we've been putting up some of the uh, what you need to do mm -hmm. information on the screen there, if our loved ones have become a victim, what should we do? Yeah, one of the things is report it. It is very much underreported. People don't really uh, talk about it or share it. So we're asking people to, under, you know, to make sure that they actually report it. Another thing we want people to do is um, when the, you receive this information, call the lottery or the sweepstakes number on the um, that not on the back of the check or yeah, not anywhere that not that one but call price uh, the yeah. publisher clearinghouse mm -hmm. uh, go online all of those sweepstakes actually publish their winners so do your homework don't get sucked into believing it's immediately true and um, if you do think you won Talk to somebody about it and let them uh, be an extra pair of ears and a balance for that. Yeah, and the BBB, you all field a number of these calls. Oh, absolutely. Um, within the last one year, we've received about 60 phone calls, um, about 80 online uh, submissions. The average loss is $500. And in Maryland, we did have a victim that lost 30 thousand mm. dollars oh to goodness. this scam so you know it can really hit you where it hurts the most yeah. and yes it is a shame all right Angie yeah. thank you so much for coming on thank you